guys, welcome to Talk Techie to Me. I'm Melanie, and we are talking today about Lockheed Martin Innovations. And here with us, we have Abby and David, who 3D print metal parts for missiles, fighter jets, and much more. Now, you most of you know about the additive manufacturing of plastics. I mean, you can order a 3D printer on Amazon and have it delivered tomorrow. But what these guys are doing with metal printing is different. And we want to hear a little bit more about that. Absolutely. Everybody's pretty much familiar with additive manufacturing. As you said, you can purchase a printer. They're generally pretty small. You can have one in your living room or your school or even on your office desk. What we're doing is powder bed additive manufacturing where we take powderized metal and run a high powered laser over it and melt it into a component. The real big difference between a plastic and a metal part is that the metal parts are far more durable. We're actually able to use those for mock-ups as well as for actual parts that are going on missiles. That sounds awesome. So question for you, what would the process be to make something like this? The first thing that we do is we get the design from the engineer. Then we work with the engineer to modify that design so that it's ready to be 3D printed but is also going to meet their needs. We then take the part and slice it into thousands of layers so that the machine knows exactly the areas that need to be melted and the areas that don't need to be melted. And once we've designed it, we'll insert it into the machine, download all the software for that, and we'll put a plate in to grow on. We'll level the plate. We'll go ahead and start inerting and heating. And we'll do a test fire of the first layer. If everything looks really good there, we'll go ahead and start the grow, watch the first few layers, and then it's a lights out operation after that. Nice, so it kind of sounds like you guys can make pretty much anything, but do you see this type of manufacturing replacing your more traditional or conventional manufacturing at any point? Not for a very long time. Many people look at this as the replicator from Star Trek, and we are nowhere near that. What we can do though is create parts that have unique features that maybe you can't achieve or are very expensive with traditional manufacturing. We see a lot of things with internal structures um, and those are things that we have the capability to make now, but we can do it faster and cheaper with additive. Although there are plenty of parts that are still going to be better machined with traditional machining. So David, how are we using this technology for our customers currently? And then how are we pushing the innovation of design? So currently, you know, we're capable of producing rapid development of prototypes for a casting house for our customers. So they can come to us and within a week, we can actually give them a functional part that they can then go test and come back to us with their feedback on whether it works. And if they need to modify it, we can then give them another uh, prototype rapidly. Whereas traditionally, it would take weeks to months to get something from a casting house. And then you gotta go through that whole process again. So it sounds like we're not quite there with the Star Trek replicator just yet, but we're certainly making strides in that direction. And we really appreciate you guys being here today, Abby and David, and talking with all of us about metal additive manufacturing. And for all of you guys out there, if you wanna talk techie with us, be sure to leave your comments and questions below and we'll maybe answer them in another episode. Bye guys. <laughs>